Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Thank How's you. it going? How's everything? Good? Fine? Good. Just good? Just everything good, alright? Great. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. All right, welcome. This is our class number 10. We're still waiting for some people to join the class. Well, this is beginners three, right? So I have chosen the correct one, okay? Yes, that's right. That's right. Did you practice the story? <laughs> no, <laughs> we didn't have much time to practice the story. Yes, I am sorry. It's okay, no problem. We're going to practice, okay? We're going to practice a little bit. Let's see. Let me move this. Okay, well. Our objectives for this class are to retell a story using the verse in past tense, and then review the pronunciation of the regular verse, the ED of the regular verse, right? So the story we have from yesterday, I heard you share it on the, yeah, I saw actually you share it on the WhatsApp group. So I'm gonna read it once again. And then of course, you're going to practice reading the story, right? So once yes. upon a time, there was a boy called Jack, period, right? So he lived with his mother. They were very poor. All they had was a cow. One morning, Jack's mother told him to take the cow to the market and sell her. On the way, Jack met a man. He gave Jack some magic beans for the cow. Jack took the beans and went back home. When Jack's mother saw the beans, she was very angry. She threw the beans out of the window. The next morning, Jack looked out of the window. There was a giant beanstalk. He went outside and started to climb the beanstalk. He climbed up to the sky through the clouds. Jack saw a beautiful castle, went inside. Jack heard the voice, fee, fa, fa, fum, and ran into a cupboard. An enormous giant came into the room and sat down. On the table, there was a hen in the golden heart lay said the giant the hen laid an egg and it was made of gold sing said the giant the heart began to sing soon the giant was asleep jack jumped out of the cupboard he took the hen and the harp suddenly the heart sang help master the giant shouted fee fa fa fum jack ran and started to climb down the beanstalk the giant came down after him Jack shouted, mother, help. Jack's mother, wait a minute, I need to move this <laughs> before we know what happened with Jack's mother. Jack's mother took an ax and chopped down the beanstalk. The giant fell and crashed to the ground. Nobody ever saw him again. With the golden egg and the magic harp, Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. Try to read the story with emotion, okay? With intonation, as if you are reading a story to a child, okay? And you're going to be in pairs. One person is reading and the other person is listening. Then you exchange roles. The mm -hmm. person that was listening is gonna read and the person that was listening is going to listen. Yes. And so on. Let me just make the, the groups. I'm not quite sure. Yes, I have to stop sharing to make the groups. Let's hey, see. Andy. Yes. No, Hello. Solo van a leer la historia. Okay. Solo van a leer la historia. Ayer se las habíamos compartido. Yo creo que alguien también, un compañero también la había compartido en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Lo que tiene que hacer, si la pueden compartir pantalla, fine. Si no, pues la están leyendo nada más. Tratando de pronunciar todos los verbos correctly. Y, obviously, you're going to be in pairs. Durante uno está leyendo, la otra persona está escuchando, is listening. El que está listening, si tiene alguna 
sugerencia, alguna suggestion, ¿verdad? O algo que, que mejore el, el que está leyendo, pues le puede decir, por ejemplo, si un verbo eh, considera que se debe de pronunciar de forma diferente, pues se lo dice. Okay? ¿Ok? So this is peer, peer correction, this is peer support, ¿ok? And then, cuando la persona que estaba leyendo termine, la otra inicia. And then the person that was reading becomes the listener. Now? Yes? Yes, teacher. Ok, yes. cool. Veamos, vamos a tratar de estar in pairs, nine groups. Creo que sí, me salen nine okay. groups para estar in pairs. Yes. Yes. There we go. Vamos. When Jack's mother saw the beans, she was very angry. She threw the beans out of the windows. The next morning, Jack looked out the windows. There was again beans being stole. We, he went outside and started to clean it. The being stole, he climbed up to the sky through the, the clothes. Eh, Continuo. Si quieres, ahora voy yo y después tú. Bye. Jack saw a beautiful castle. No veo nada. Aquí, por ejemplo, cuando. Uh -huh. Cuando. La oración termina en T, se pronuncia, por ejemplo, aquí, want it. Uh -huh. Ahí está. ¿no? Dice que se hace aquí. un sonido de forma tal que le vibra la garganta. Y si quiere, ponga su mano en la garganta para que sienta la vibración. <risa> <risa> Vamos a ver, porque suena con una, tiene un sonido de vocal. Así dice. Y el one two, one two, one two, es como vibrante, es como la lengua, así siento yo como que le vibra uno la parte de la, one two, help, 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 conté al final, help, o oh, no, te por, chico, que sí es. por yes. ejemplo, wanted, needed, es como id al final, y los que suenan como t, eso sí es un poquito más explosivo, como stopped, shopped, shopped, mm -hmm. helped, 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 así, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. entonando un poquito más la T, yes, sonido de la T, final, sí. y en el caso de call, 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 call,
Cold. Cold. Como enrollando la lengua. The. Cold. Exacto. No sé si para adentro y para afuera, ¿qué va? Para adentro. Cold. Sí, sí es ¿verdad? como el para paladar. Uh -huh. Cold. Ajá. Cold. Cabal, como tocando Cold. el paladar. Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Bueno, jovencito, me toca. <risa> Vale, empiezo. Solo voy a... Creo que cuando yo me voy a lo de mis fotos, me, 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 me salgo, pero... Pero para poder leer, ahorita aquí la estoy buscando. Aquí está. Vale, empiezo. Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack. He lived with his mother. They were very poor. All they had was a cow. One morning, Jack mo Jack's mother told him to take the cow to the market and sell Sí. Buen pasado que se complica un poquito. Pero ahorita que está la teacher aquí. Teacher, Hello. <laughs> help me. <laughs> eh, how do you say uh, gigante? Eh, giant. Gi giant. Oh, Como okay, que me van a decir giant. Jack, solo que giant. Yo ah, Gian decía entonces. Gi <laughs> giant. Giant. Okay. A gigantic. Cuando algo es enorme. Gigantic. Being stuck. Ok. Dicho, entonces cuando dice de llamar, call, call cold. The, oh, cold. Cold. Ah, yeah. okay. He called his mother. Ok. Um, Jack and the Beanstalk. Yes. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack. Eh, he lived. Ahí el teacher es que le da esa parte de live. He lived. Live. He lived with his mom. He lived with his, his mother. His mother. Mm -hmm. uh, they were very poor. Mm -hmm. All they had was a cow. A cow. A cow. Okay, okay like a cowboy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, Jack was a cowboy. <laughs> cowboy. One morning, Jack's mother told him to take the cow to the market and say her. Uh, on the way, Jack met a man, a man, man, a man. A man. Okay. Because it's singular, man. Teacher, uh, y el pasado de hip, de hip, no. Give or de... gave. Ah, ok, gay, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Gay. Ok, entonces sería He gave Jack some eh, magic beans for the cup. Yes. Sorry, Jack, me voy a ir a otro grupo que no le he dado las instrucciones y que Ricardo le vaya apoyando, ¿ok? okay. Ya estamos ya, ve, ve, Ricardo, that's your job. <laughs> Working pairs. <laughs> Okay, teacher. Thank you. Took the him and the hard son, the lead, the hard son. Her master, the gigant sobered. He sees by for food. Jack ran and started to climb down the beanstalk. The gigant came down after him. Jack should have mother her. Jack's mother took an axe and a shepherd down the beanstalk. The gigant fell and crashed to the ground. Nobody ever saw him again. With the golden ears and the mighty heart, Jack and his mother live happily ever after. Look. An axe and chopped them. Down the brain stalk, the giant fell and crashed to the ground. Nobody ever saw him again. With the golden eggs and the magic harp, Jack and 
and his mother lived happily ever after. Okay. Okay, Wendy. Oh, yeah. Miss. Hello. Miss. Okay. Este, tenemos varias, varias palabras que no sabemos cómo pronunciar. Okay, perfect. Tell me. Por ejemplo, eh, castle, castle. 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 Casi que ignore las letras que ve ahí, usted se lo diga castle. Castle. <laughs> Aunque castle. se escribe castle. 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 There was enormous castle. Mm -hmm. Este, esta otra que se escribe eh, harp. Harp. Es un arpa. Yes, the magic harp. Harp. Yes. Mm. Eh, la de las primeras, once. Once upon a time. Once upon, upon a time. Upon. Once upon a time. Era hace una vez. <laughs> Is the climb? Climbed. Is the climb? Climbed. Mountain climbing. Climb. Eh, quiero ver otra. Crashed. 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 Mm -hmm. Crashed. Como conté al final, ¿verdad? Yes. Por la ID, como es en pasado. Si estuvieran presentes, perfectamente crash. Pero si es fast, you say crashed. Crashed. Crash to the ground. Este, quiero ver qué otra. Se estrelló contra el suelo. Axe. Axe. Es como es un hacha. Ah, hacha. Para cortar el magic bean stock. Es como el desodorante. Ax. Ax. <risa> este, esta otra palabra, quiero ver. Que es he, eh, hin, creo que es. M. Ajá. Generalmente la H va a sonar como J. Hem. ¿Y eso qué es? A él. Por, es un pronombre. Para él o a él. Hem. Ajá. Gave him some magic beans. Le dio a Jack, vea. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Vaya. Y de ahí está hasta la otra, hasta el final. Happily. Happily. Ha happy. Diga happy nada más. Happy. Y luego le agrega Lee. Happily. 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 Y así se pronuncia. Sí, happily. Ha happily ever after. Felizmente. Happily. Vivieron felizmente para siempre. Happily. Happily ever after. Uh -huh. De hecho, en la boda dicen, they live happily ever after. Happily. <laughs> happily together. Vaya. Este, ¿qué, ¿Qué significa true? Through. Through. Spell? Through. No, dígame la oración completa. Está, she threw the ah. She threw the beans. Es el pasado de throw, de lanzar, tirar. She threw the beans out of the window. Que tiró los, los, los frijolitos fuera de la ventana. O por la ventana. El pasado de throw. El verbo es in present is throw. And this when it's true. In past. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. Es tirar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Lanzar, tirar, arrojar. Okay. True. True. Yes. Mm. Ver. Solamente esas creo okay. que son verdad, compañera. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Gracias, Miss. Vaya, le toca leer. Bueno. Vaya. Juan. Dejar. Igual no que el master. Que, eh, for example. Egg it like an egg it. Like and you say the hem line. Egg and it. Egg it. The hem line and eggs it. Eggs it. Así es, teacher. Egg it. 
laid an egg. O sea, que puso un huevo. Laid an egg. Punto. Uh -huh. It was made of gold. Que era, esta, oh. era de oro. Entonces se pronuncia it. It. El it creo que es de otra oración. Déjenme corroborar. Ah. Ajá. En la imagen, wait a minute. Dije en ley. En él. Ley de él. Ley de él. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Es que hay un guión. Hay un guión uh -huh. ahí. Sí, es como parece. No sé si era separación o sí, era. Sí, es que lo que pasa es que. Es de separación, es... ma. Sí. Aquí mm, está okay. como bien unidito, pero en realidad ah. para que supiera. <risa> pero ah, okay. sí, es, la, es otra idea. Es como la explicación, okay. que, que el huevo era de oro. Uh -huh. Sí. Ley de Okay. It was made. Uh -huh. It was made. It was of made gold. of gold. Gold. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Say the giant, okay. the heart began the sin. Uh -huh. To sin. To sin. Soon the giant was asleep. Jack wow. jumped out of the cupboard. Uh -huh. Jumped. Cupboard. 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 Jumped. Cupboard. Jumped out of the uh, cupboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jumped. Yes. Mm -hmm. out, out of the cupboard. He took the hand, the, the hand, the and the harp, and the harp. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, the harp song mm -hmm. helped master. Okay. Mm -hmm. The giant shoulder. Shoulder. Fi, fi, fu, fum. Jack ran and started to climb. Escuchar la imagen donde escribe. Entonces, es lo que hago. Y más o menos se suelta la lengua. Sí, porque todas estas que anoté acá me cuestan. Si gusta, léalo otra vez. Para mí. Bye. Mientras nos llama, vamos. Lo voy a repasar otra vez. Hello. Any question? Por última vez. One more time. Eh, que... Algunas palabras. Okay, tell me. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, no sabíamos, bueno, por lo menos yo no sé pronunciar eh, suddenly. Suddenly, yes. Eh, por ejemplo, güey, tampoco. Uh -huh. eh, guy. Uh -huh. eh, so. Uh -huh. eh, también. Gigan. Giant. 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 Uh -huh. Y castle. 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 Okay. Como kind, kind of ignore the letter T. So you just say castle. There was a castle. Que es así. Por lo menos a mí me, cost, me It costaron bastante. It was a new, a new word. <laughs> yes. Creo que se ha, se ha salido la otra compañera. Eh, yes. Sí, creo que. She has some problems. Pero, but... pero lo practicamos. Okay. Lo practicamos y checo. No problem. Ok, hey. perfect. Ahorita regresamos ya a la sesión hey. principal. Gracias. Don't worry. See you there. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Everybody's returning. Mr. Oscar, your camera. <laughs> It's upside down, yes. <laughs> upside down. No me funciona, no me da vuelta. Estoy, estoy, estoy moviéndola y me queda. Really? Ay, ¿qué pasó? Get stuck. Bien, pues. Tal vez se la apaga y luego. Me he quedado. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí. Turn it off, no problem. Ahí sí, ya vinieron todos.
Everybody's back. Uh, sí. <laughs> good. Uh, good, sí. good, good. Nice. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo les fue? How did it go? How was the reading of the story? Good. Good teacher. Good. Entertaining. Exciting. Entertaining. <laughs> Interesting, confusing, difficult, large, <laughs> long, large. No, no, la lengua. Really? Yes. <laughs> difficult. Difficult. It's good. Ustedes no han visto nada. <laughs> This is nothing. Ay, no. Yes, to learn another language, de repente los retos, ¿verdad? Y este es uno. El leer. Read a story aloud, yes. que se escuche usted mismo, ¿ok? Actually, con esto de la pronunciation uh, de los past tense, de los verbos, se me viene a acabar uh, la memoria una de las estrategias que utilizaba uno de los teachers that I had when I was learning, que era decir tongue twisters, decir uh, trabalenguas, but in English, of course. Y hacía competitions, o sea, <laughs> imagínense. <laughs> so, había uno que se llama de The Peter Parker picked up a couple of papers. Eso es para usar el sonido t, 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 al final de la palabra, ¿verdad? Entonces, iba algo así. Peter Parker picked up a couple of papers. A couple of papers. Peter Parker picked. If Peter Parker picked up a couple of papers, what is a couple of papers that Peter Parker picked? <laughs> oh, oh my God. Wow. What? What? <laughs> Por eso les digo, ah. esto, esto de la story solo es para... Empezar a calentar motores. Desenrollar la lengua. Exacto. Hagamos uno. Para Por desenrollar la lengua es eso. Eh, se los prometo que el, el, el jueves se los traigo cuando ya hayamos visto Compártelo, todo el contenido. ¿eh? Of course, ahí se sí, los mando. Sí, sí. Eh, no me, no me puedo ver las lenguas en español de Pablito. <ríe> Pero ya lo va a aprender en inglés, ya va a ver. That's nice. Vaya, vamos a ver. Esta story estaba fun. It was really, really fun. Ok, aquí tenemos la story. Salieron un montón de verbos en pasado. Lo notaron, ¿verdad? There were lots of yeah, verbs teacher. in past. Lots, lots of verbs. Bye, vamos a poner acá. The speech is Sorry about my dog. Uh, she's really really. All right. Ok. ¿Se recuerdan de la story, verdad? ¿De qué es lo que pasó? Vamos a ver. Acá tenemos las questions. Ok, one. Ok, here. Vamos a ver. Primero vamos, question from one to seven. What was the boy's name? Jack. 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 Ah, Jack. that was easy. Yeah. Ok, his name was Jack. Did he and his mother have a lot of money? No, no. they no. are poor. They, were poor. they, they, they poor. didn't. They poor. were very poor. Very What poor. did Jackie do with they the were... cow? She sold her. She Okay. What did Jackie do with the cow? He sold the cow or he, he exchanged sold. the cow for some magic beans? So. Uh, so. <laughs> oh. Yes, I don't. La, la instrucción de la mamá era que la fuera a vender. But he didn't really sell the cow for money. He exchanged the cow for some magic beans, right? Okay. Yeah. Was his mother happy when she saw the beans? No. No. No, no. no she wasn't. She was very no, she angry. 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 She was angry. very angry. angry. She was very angry. What did she do with the beans? Uh, uh, she threw no, the beans out of the window. The yes. And what happened to the beans? Um. Uh, to, uh, beans. Crecieron. <laughs> Crecieron. They grew up older. They grew up older. <laughs> Yeah. It was a giant bean stock, o sea, una planta yeah. enorme de frijoles. O sea, it's just, obviously, it's a fairy tale, it's un cuento. Okay? Yes, the magic beans became a giant bean stock, right? Okay. All right. 
What did Jack see when he looked out of the window? He went outside and started. A beanstalk? Yeah, he, he saw stock. a big beanstalk, that's right. And what did Jack do when he saw the giant plant? Climb. He climbed the plant. He climbed uh -huh. the giant plant, right? And where did he go? What did he see there? That's two. Uh huh. He he went through the clouds to the sky, and he saw a castle. He saw an enormous castle. And a what did he castle. do when he, the giant fell asleep? Wrong. Run. Run. <laughs> Run. Run. Escape. <laughs> he took the hand and the harp and he ran. Exactly. And what did Jack do when the giant suddenly woke up? Jack hear a voice. And okay, he continued running. Take the yes. <laughs> He climbed down the plant, okay? <laughs> That's right. And how did he get rid of the giant? But la expresión get rid of es como se deshicieron del gigante. Mm. With an axe. With an axe. Uh -huh. With an axe, the mother. Chop the bean stuck. Um, exactly. Beanstalk. It's like with the with the axe. Beanstalk. Yes, his beanstalk. mother chopped the bean stuck with an axe. Yes. That's right. That's how they got rid of the giant. Así fue como se deshicieron del gigante. Good. Applause. Si sí, entendieron la historia, o sea, si ya se la sabían en Spanish, ¿verdad? Motherless. <laughs> Motherless. Ah, cuando los grandparents les están contando stories, you were not paying attention. <laughs> We need to pay attention. Va, solo para reforzar lo de la pronunciation. Creo que eso lo vimos ayer, pero just to refresh. This is real important, ¿ok? No todos los verbos regulares se van a pronunciar de. O sea, los más comunes sí son los de la D. Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Y ahí el otro grupo que también se repite. With the T, like helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed. Well, this would be breathed para mí, por aquí sale con T. Breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, wanted, needed. Yes? So it's obviously in, in esta categoría, en los de voice, también están los sonidos vocálicos, los que son como vowel sounds. Ok? Y eso, vaya. Vamos a ver, en esta parte vamos a completar. Tim is talking about his weekend. Complete the sentence. De hecho, ayer no me contaron de cómo les había ido el weekend porque no sabían muchos verbos en pasado, pero ya saben. So, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call. Entonces, vamos a usar el verbo que está en paréntesis, ¿ok? Pero lo vamos a usar en past porque estamos narrando algo que ya sucedió. Es past tense. Es an event that happened in the past, right? So, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call. But my girlfriend... Didn't call. Didn't call. Mm, in parentheses, it's not. Pero mm. nosotros sabemos que el auxiliary para el pasado es didn't. 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 Y el verbo didn't. ya no va en pasado porque ya tengo el auxiliary. Right? Yes. But my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed. Stayed. Uh -huh. stayed. stayed. I just stayed. Stayed. Vamos a ver. stayed. A ver, stayed. Vamos a hacer acá el. El writing. I just stayed. I stayed. I stayed home. I just stayed home. And watched. And watched. And watched. What? Watched. Acuérdense del T sound, ¿verdad? And watched What? television. On Saturday, I 
I visited my friend visited. Frank. Yes, I visited my friend Frank. We talk. 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 We talked. We talked. Talk. Yes, a little bit exaggerated right now. We talked. And listening. And listened. Listen, 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 and listen to music. In the evening, he invited, 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 he invited some friends over, and we cooked. We cooked. We cooked. We cooked. Ahí recuerda que no es cooked, ¿verdad? We cooked. A great meal. I didn't work. Didn't work. Exactly. Didn't work. I didn't work. I didn't work. Curate, Sheila. Mira la hora que iba. My goodness. No te preocupes. No te preocupes. No te preocupes. Es temprano. Es early. It's Aquí lo, early. los partners. Si <laughs> quieren, le ayudamos. Please forgive me. I didn't work. Nos regañamos. Yes, we can help. Oh, no. I didn't work very hard very on hard. Sunday. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't I didn't study. study. Yes, I didn't study. Didn't study. I didn't study at all. <laughs> what a bad person. <laughs> I didn't study at all. I just walk. 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 I just walked. Walk. Walk. Walked. Is it este similar to the pronunciation? I talked. I walked. I talked. Yeah, I walked to the mall and shopped. 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 Aquí hay una peculiaridad con este verbo porque es una sola sílaba. Entonces, antes de agregar la D, le vamos a duplicar la última consonante. So, we shopped. Okay. All right. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home and watched television. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mall and shopped. To the mall and shopped. Yes. Nice. Okay. Similar to this paragraph, me van a contar qué han hecho y qué no han hecho en estas fechas. Yesterday, last night, last week, and last month. For example, yesterday I watched television or I didn't watch television. De acuerdo a estos eh, verbos que ya les dan en el paréntesis, ¿verdad? Uh, number two, last night I stayed home or I didn't stay home. Yo creo que todos van a decir I stayed home porque sí estaban en clase. <laughs> last night. <laughs> last week I exercised every day. I didn't exercise mm -hmm. every day. <laughs> I didn't exercise I didn't every day. Exercise every day. Okay. Everybody the same example. Everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Last month, mm -hmm. I shopped for clothes or I didn't shop for clothes? Yo creo que I shopped for clothes. I didn't shop for clothes. Shop. Porque si sí fue Christmas. For clothes. Bueno, January. <laughs> Today is the, is the first date of, of February. Ah, pues last yes. month sería January. Okay. Last no. year, I visited a different country or I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't, didn't, didn't visit didn't. a different country. Escriban las cinco oraciones, obviously, de acuerdo a lo que sí sucedió o no sucedió. Y luego las van a compartir con sus partners. Yes. Yeah.
Me dicen okay. cuando hayan terminado. Please tell me. Finish. I finish. I didn't finish. I haven't finished. Yes? Yes. All right. Recuerden, en simple past, narra o describe acciones que sucedieron en el pasado. Así sea, hace dos horas. Ya es pasado. Two hours. One hour ago. One day. One week. One month. One year. Y en más de, like, ten years ago, no sé. You can, if you can remember, it's okay. Por aquí solo vamos a hablar de yesterday, last night, last week, last month, and last year. Hay que tener cuidado con eso. Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. Was yesterday que jugó la selección? Or the day before yesterday? It was on Sunday. Yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Oh, yesterday, yesterday was Monday, right? So I think it was oh, on no. Sunday. On uh -huh. Sunday. On Sunday. So yes. On Sunday, la selecta won, finally. Won. <laughs> Ya era tiempo, teacher. Finally. <laughs> ya de nada le sirve, pero it won. The pass of yes. win, won. <laughs> won, yes. Bueno, los que van terminando la sentencia, los envío al breakout room para que les cuenten a sus partners. Solo que vamos a hacer otro room porque eso nos quedaron muy chiquitos, ¿ok? So we're going to okay. create six, al menos de tres. Yes. Are you ready? Ah. Almost. <laughs> Halfway no there. Copiamos. Really? No copiamos toda la... La, la penúltima. No, no la last copiamos. year, last week, last month. Y last month. El, el mes pasado. Y el otro mm. era last year. Next year. Ay, déjenme ver si les puedo copiar la imagen. Sí. sí. Creo que ya le enviaron. Oh, no, it was the, the story of Jack. No. Yes, there you go. In WhatsApp. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello. You've got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Empecemos, chicos. Comience. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday I watched television. Last last night I start start stay home. Last week I didn't exercise every day. I didn't. No, I don't like. <laughs> and last month I shop for clothes. And the last one I can um, last year. It was last year. I, 
if you travel or if you didn't travel to another country uh, i didn't i didn't teacher. <laughs> i didn't travel <laughs> me neither yes that's teacher. terrible yes mm. um who's next I finished. who's next eh, como se dice la última de visit visit I visited another country or I didn't visit? visit. 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 In affirmative, I visited. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I didn't watch television. Last night, I stayed stay home. Uh, I, I didn't exercise. I... I study English. Okay. Hoy le hacemos unas preguntas a Claudia. Okay, yes. <laughs> Sería ¿Cómo era el inicio? Um Work. At park. At park. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Last year, I visited my grandmother. What? Work. Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Me dejaba eh. encender el micrófono. <laughs> <laughs> en el caso dice, eh, last night I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mm -hmm. uh, stay, stay my work. home. Oh, stay my, my work. Uh -huh. Pero generalmente el stay es como me quedé en casa. En casa. Ajá. Ah, okay. Por ejemplo, okay. si es como, es como para estar en casa. Sí, pero ah, si okay. dice I was at work or I went to work. Uh -huh. sí, no es. fui al trabajo. I didn't go to work. No, I didn't go. Pero si pongo I, I went. Yo fui al trabajo. Ajá, I went to work, exactly. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí. Pero en este caso, stay si es quiere, más es, para la casa. Sí, es que si quiero usar el verbo stay es más como quedarse en casa, quedarse en un hotel, quedarse en una casa de un amigo, quedarse en la casa de un familiar. Por ejemplo, Pero es más como para descansar familiarmente. Exacto, ¿Algo es, que es más del hogar. Ajá. Ah, oh, ok. Más, okay. Exacto. Okay. Puede ser, uh, last weekend I stayed at my parents' house. Me quedé en la casa de mis papás. Ok. Uh -huh. más, más, de casa, más hogareño. Exactly. Si en español me sale mejor. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> sí, así lo pongo porque si no después en el piquera esto, ¿verdad? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Y en la escritura del inglés a media estamos mal. No, 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 no. Mejor me lo explico en español. Ok. All right. Entonces, si sería para eh, mencionar lugares que no sean como de descanso, como que no sean familiares, sería fui. Go. I go. go I went. went. Ajá, el pasado. Okay. I go went to went. work. Uh -huh. Ok. I went to... Cine, I went cinema. to the movies, yeah. I went to the movie. Uh -huh. Pero ahí sería más no, la acción movie, de, ir. Uh -huh. de ir a ver la película. Exactly. Oh. Ok, ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. the words with a different country? No. Ok, put it. Exercise. I worked. Mm. Work. Uh, last night, I. Rest in, rest in my house. 
in my house. Last week, uh, I didn't exercise. <laughs> uh, last month, I didn't shop uh, clothes. Last year, mm -hmm. I visit a different... Queda así normal, ¿verdad? Nos llaman. <laughs> Pero no está para que nos unamos. Hello, no questions. Ah, perdón. Sí. Eh, yes. La compañera me preguntaba que cuando, cuando entonces ocuparíamos el did. El did. Ah, ese puede ser pregunta. ¿Qué es la auxiliar para hacer la question? Did you study yesterday? No, I didn't. I went to work. Mm -hmm. Did you clean the house today? Yes, I did. I cleaned my house. O también podría ser el did solo, no como auxiliar, sino como verbo, que es la, el pasado de do. Y usted dice, sí, hice la tarea. I did my homework. I did exercise in the morning. Y ahí no está siendo un verbo auxiliar, sino que está siendo el papel principal del verbo. Está siendo el verbo de acción en, como, como tal. Uh, pero, por ejemplo, en, acá en esta oración podría decir yo, eh, eh, Yesterday I didn't, didn't cook, didn't cook lunch. Uh -huh. Podría ser ahí. El did not, la contracción del did not es para negativo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero solo did podría ser para pregunta o como la acción del do en pasado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como, como verbo, ¿no? Como exacto, decir. exacto. Yes, I did my homework. I did exercise. I did the laundry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks. Right. Finished. Yes. Yes. <laughs> finished this test. We finished. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Is there any question? Alguna dificultad? Any problem? No? no, it was easy. Easy. It was easy, yeah. very easy. <laughs> Bye. Hasta ahorita, digamos que más o menos hemos estado con regular verbs, los verbos regulares. Pero ya en este slide vamos a ver los verbos irregulares. Irregular verbs. Irregular. Bye. Acá tenemos algunos examples. Let's see. I did my homework. I didn't do the laundry. I got up at noon. I didn't get up at 10. I went to the museum. I didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Okay, one more time. Acá el did, creo que ya lo explicaba en uno de los rooms, está haciendo la función principal del verbo. Es el do en pasado. I did my homework. Yo sí hice mi tarea. I didn't do laundry. No hice la lavada o no lavé la ropa, ¿verdad? Aquí el didn't sí. es el auxiliar para negative. Siempre necesito el verbo. No puedo decir, I didn't the laundry. So, I didn't do the laundry. Yes, I didn't do laundry. Si no hubiera hecho la tarea, ¿cómo diría? I didn't do, do home. I didn't do my homework. I didn't do. My homework. Exactly. I didn't do my homework. I didn't do laundry. Okay. I got up at noon. Me levanté al mediodía. I got up. I got up at noon. I didn't get up at 10. Exacto. Entonces me doy cuenta que el pasado de get up es got up. Got up. Exacto. 
Okay. ¿Por qué? En negativo, el verbo no cambia, sigue siendo el base form, porque ya tengo base el auxiliary. Yes. Okay. I went to the, went to the museum. I didn't go to the library. Okay. Igual puedo deducir que el pasado go, go es... Went. 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 Yes. Exactly. We met okay. our classmates. We, We didn't met. meet our teacher. So the pass of meet is met. 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 Meet, met. Right. Meet, met. Okay. You came home late. You came home late. You didn't come home, come early. home early. The pass of come? Came. Came. Okay. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. The pass of have? Had. Had, exactly. Had. All right. Okay. ¿Cuántos verbos irregulares hay? A lot. <laughs> many. There are many. many. But aquí solo tenemos six. Do, six. did. Get Do, up, did. got up. Go, got went. Up. Meet, went. met. Come. Yeah. Came, have, had. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes, good. Right. No es que no lo vamos a aprender todo en solo que se va a ir a Google o whatever other website y van a decir, oh, me voy a descargar un listado completo. Si lo quiere hacer, fine. Igual yo les puedo compartir uno. Pero la idea es que se vayan aprendiendo como de 5 en 5. To memorize, porque there's no choice. Pueden haber como algunas estrategias que ustedes desarrollen para memorize them, ponerlos en post-its, pegarlos en el espejo, hacer juegos de memoria, cualquier cosa que usted crea que le va a ayudar to memorize them. Pero es little by little. You're not going to accumulate like a hundred words in one day. That's not possible. But the more yes. you study, the more you practice, the better, of course. Okay. Okay. Now, what did you do today? <laughs> Talk about today's activity. Esta era como para compartir con mis partners, pero como ya no estamos eh, como mucho tiempo, vamos nada más a coger a alguien que nos quiera contar qué hizo este día. Talk about today, usando verbo en pasado. I visited my family, I went out with friends, I had a hamburger, getting the spelling. Had, it's the letter D, I went to the mall. Whatever. What did you do today? Hagamos memory. Let me see my case. I went to work. I had lunch with my friends. I worked for many hours. I received emails. I checked emails. I checked assignments. Um, I had many classes. And I came back home. <laughs> And I am having a class again. <laughs> again. <laughs> All right. Somebody? ¿Quién nos quiere contar de cómo estuvo su día? Por lo menos tres oraciones usando verbos en pasado. No estoy diciendo que me cuenten una long story como la de Jack, pero at least atrévanse. There. There you are. Miss Miriam, con ese new look. <risa> okay. Okay. Is very Gorgeous. surprised when, when you say Miriam. Okay. Oh, my name. <laughs> oh, she called me. Okay. Yeah. Tell us, how was your day? Okay. What did you do? Okay, I was in my my job or my work, teacher? Either, either. Okay. At, at work or at my job? Well, my job is more para mencionar el trabajo en sí, but I was at work. Sounds better. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I, I was my my work um a long time and i i was very tired and i i take um no i took i took i took um no i took no teacher i <laughs> took a shower <laughs> Yes, I took a shower. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> to complement the sentence. And I, I didn't exercise. Mm -hmm. You didn't do exercise. Okay. I didn't do exercise. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> okay, you just stayed. Okay, you spent long hours at work. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Now a man defending the man. Ricardo. <laughs> Mr. Ricardo Ramirez. <laughs> Tell us. Today I stay at, at home all day. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the end the end of the story <laughs> I stayed at home I watched TV I read no, I didn't know I didn't do did. anything I did <laughs> oh my I god my I slept all I slept day. all day <laughs> oh, <Okay>. envidia <laughs> relax this day yeah. I relax all day. During the night. Yeah, that's why. Okay, good. Bueno, let's keep practicing. Practice, practice the irregular verse. Como les decía, if you want to get a list, you can get it, you can practice, try to remember as many. Traten de buscar como los más common. Study, let's see. No, the study is a regular one. Write. See, eat, take, exactly. Those are the irregular ones, okay? Okay, good night, enjoy, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.